everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here again um, this is part two of my book outlet haul um, uh, if you haven't seen part one go ahead and go back and watch that um, there are some different books in there this part is all of the Deborah Muller well excuse me Deborah Muller coloring books that I got they are all Zen Doodle as well or classified as Zen Doodle I guess um, published um, by the company that does the Zen Doodle. I think it's St. Mark's or something. Let's see. St. Martin's Press. Um, so they are all published by them, but they are illustrated by Deborah Muller. So um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books to get through, and all of them have 60 plus images. So we are gonna try to move right along, try not to make this video too long, but I do wanna talk about the books and all that as well. Um, if you guys don't know Deborah Muller, she is pretty popular in the coloring world. Um, she has uh, a bunch of these Zen Doodle books, but she also has a bunch of her own books. Um, they all have a similar style. It is, they're all a little bit Zen doodly, um, but they are all very different. She likes kind of like the weird. She's got a lot of cool Halloween books. Um, she has her, my favorite so far is the Fall Friends books, and she is coming out um, very soon. I saw on Facebook, on her Facebook group today that she's coming out very soon with a summer book, which I will be getting as a PDF. Um, it was just sent to Amazon, so she said it should be ready by the first day of summer, which I believe is next week, so I am very, very excited about that book. Um, I do really love her art. It's all very um, unique and just, it's really grown on me. I didn't care for it, honestly, at first, but it has really grown on me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start going through these books. Um, so the first one up is Chubby Cherubs. Um, this one is cute. It is all little angel babies, um, which is what a cherub is, Shayna. But uh, here's the back of the book. Same image, just uncolored. And let me zoom you guys in a tad. Ooh, too far. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, 60 plus images, and they are all cherubs. Separate each page easily. They are um, perforated, ideal for colored pencils, gel pens, or markers. Precious little angels will restore peace and calm with each page. My nose is starting to run. Oh no. First it was itchy, now it's runny. I took a little break between filming videos, and I guess my body didn't like that very much. <laughs> my devices did, because I had to charge them both, but anyway. Stop rambling and we'll get to the images. So this book, um, her girls all have these big eyes. I do like this book. Again, this may be on the list for giveaways because it's not my favorite, but it is very cute. If you like angels, this would be for you. She's got a little paint palette here. This one came out in 2018. Get you guys in frame, there we go. So I do like that they have the frame around the edges here. Um, again, this is the Zen Doodle paper. It is very, very thirsty. Um, it's very nice. I think it would be really great for colored pencils. It's a little bit toothy. Um, it's not super thick. Uh, if you can see, you can see the image in back behind here. So if you use alcohol markers, you're gonna wanna put a page in between. You always wanna do that, but especially on these books. Um, this paper is really thirsty. You'll see when we get to the stained glass book that um, I had a hard time getting the streaks out in those pages. So um, yeah, but we can talk about that more then. They are one-sided, which is nice, and they are perforated. <laughs> Love letters, that's cute. The more I flip through this book, the more it grows on me. So we'll see. chubby. Well, they're all chubby, aren't they? Chubby cherubs. This almost looks like a lotus flower. Cute. Well, the lantern's pretty. But yeah, they're all these big-eyed, mostly girls, I believe. I guess they could be boys, too, huh? That one's a girl. Or looks like a girl. How to fly, that's cute. She's earning her wings. Little flutes. So 
But yeah, it has been a long day of filming, but it will be worth it. Now to edit. <laughs> yeah, these are cute. They're just not super my style. It's not my favorite of her books. We can put it that way, but of course her imagery is always really cute. There's some that I really like, and like this I really like. It's all very subjective, I guess, in coloring. And again, you don't have to color all the pages, but... Coloring's kind of like a collecting game, too. I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. Oh, look at the cat angels. That's cute. I like that. Rainbow bridge. That would be cool to put a rainbow in there. I'm on a rainbow kick lately. Did the rainbow hair? I don't know. I like it. I just like color. And they just all go together so well. I think. Oh, this one's adorable. Little Christmas cherub with the reindeers. Well, that's a deer. Is that a bunny? I do like that. Yeah, the more I flip through this, the more I'm like, oh, I do like this book. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. If we ever get to the point where there's a giveaway, there will be something for you. I promise. I wouldn't leave you guys hanging. But also, I guess just to kind of chat about it while we flip is if I do do a giveaway, I won't be like posting it like advertising it as a giveaway. It'll be in a video somewhere. So you'll wanna start watching to the end, friends. And that's not just a ploy to get you to watch my videos. It's a safety thing for me because I don't, I've heard of so many people getting, in all honesty, screwed over by posting that they're hosting a giveaway and then they get scammed. So I just, I don't wanna take that risk. I'd rather give it to you guys who do watch all the way through and really enjoy the videos than some random person that just subscribed so that they could enter the giveaway. That's really cute. That reminds me of a dancer. <laughs> it's super cute. Yeah. Yeah, this is growing on me, guys. <laughs> That's cute. But also, I know a lot of you guys don't like Zen Doodle stuff, so I don't know. I think too far ahead sometimes, and that's what's been happening with like these books and giveaways and stuff. I'm like, oh, when I hit 500 subscribers, which I guess is good to be optimistic, but at the same time, kind of stressing myself out a little bit over something I don't need to. Anyway, this is pretty. Her wings are really pretty. Oh, that's adorable. Reminds me of the DreamWorks logo. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my tushy's hurting from sitting here all day, friends. <laughs> I just realized I don't have anything to drink, but that's okay. I'm hoping to not make this video too, too long. But with so many pages. But yes, if you didn't watch my first video, um, I don't think I'm going to continue with the speedy flip throughs. They're just not lucrative for the channel it's just no not that nobody watches them people do watch them but they don't seem to be pulling in views people oh this is a ballerina i love it um and i leave timestamps here so you guys can click through and see what books you want to see it just seems to be a better option at the moment but if you guys really like the speedy flip there's just let me know we will bring them back. But I just felt like I was bombarding with videos on Saturday, and I don't know. I think when videos, when there's breaks in between videos, it gives people time to watch them and to find you. So, yeah, I just think I'm going to not do that. But if you do want to see individual flip throughs of any of these books, I will do them for you. Oh, there's her arms. I was like, where are her arms? 
Not that it matters, but. It's cute with the little birdies. Oh, little duck. Yeah, some of these images I really love. Others I'm kind of lukewarm about. Like, I don't really like these side pictures too much. So there is that one. Super duper cute. Adorable baby angels on high. That's cute. Yep. So 60 plus images in that one. And then we have furry friends. So a lot of these books that I got are animal books because I just, I love animals. So push that off to the side. So furry friends, again, ignore the Walmart sticker. I didn't get them from Walmart, guys. I got these from um, Book Outlet. And I will leave the link down below and you guys can check them out. Here's more titles. Um, what was I gonna say about Book Outlet? Yeah, I don't think I paid more than about four or five dollars for these. This is cute. This is another book I'm not so sure about. They are cute. See, now that I say that, of course, I'm like drawn to these pictures. It just depends on every, like, do you guys color by mood? I sure do. I'm like, what am I in the mood to color? But the, the next one, or not the next one, the one after that, I think, I don't know what order I've got these in over here, but the dogs on vacation is, <laughs> my definitely one that is my favorite this is this is very cute <laughs> he's dressed up like a little clown oh my gosh yeah i do really like these maybe it wasn't this one maybe it was another one and i was like meh cute little duck again same paper perforated it's a little bit sticky but I think it's just because my hands are sweating that's cute they're in the hat box or what is that a bag but there's a hat over here oh I like that <laughs> my dog does that gets under the covers but yeah so I've decided that if I don't color in these within the year then um that means that I probably won't so they, we'll see, we'll see. Rubbing his eye, cleaning himself, I guess. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at the little mouse. Oh my goodness, I didn't see him before. I don't think I flipped the whole way through this one either. Just kind of like, quick, you know, did this kind of thing. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. Again, they are Zen Doodly, so there's a lot to color. But you wouldn't have to color it every little detail. Like, you could just make this all pink if you wanted. But they're also kind of nice if you just want to veg out and do every little detail and just chill. It's kind of I kind of like that, too. <laughs> mail. Oh, no, he ripped up the mail. Rat Rover Arch. Cute. <laughs> oh, toy mouse. I thought it was a mouse, but it's not. I love animals. I really miss my puppy back home with my parents. I guess he's not technically mine, but... I grew up with him, basically, in college. We had him. And I lived there for a while, so miss the doggo but I just don't have the time to take care of a dog I, I just feel like I was neglecting them I could get a cat but my roommate doesn't really like cats and pets are just expensive which of course I would if I had a pet I would pay to take care of it but I just don't have the means to do it the way that I would want to right now especially right now we'll see I want to go. There's a cat cafe here in Orlando. Oh, pff, sneak attack. Um, and I want to go, but I'm afraid I'm going to come home with a cat. Because you can, you rest, it's like a rescue. Um, adoption center, too. <laughs> That's cute. 
Oh, I like that one. It looks like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Cocker Spaniel. I'm such a dog nerd, too. Like, I know most of the breeds. Not all of them, because they have come out with new ones. Which is crazy. Like, I'm talking about it like it's a book. But new breeds have come about in the past, like, ten years or so. Which is crazy. I don't know. I'm no geneticist or anything, but it seems fast. I do like to watch the dog show and stuff every year. They used to have a cat show that came to town too. <laughs> Mouse getting in the tuna. What is going on here? Is that the dog butt or the cat butt? I'm not really sure. I think it's, I have no idea. That's cute. Yeah, some of these are harder to see as well because they are so zendoodly. When I get to the back of the book, I can't lift it from the bottom anymore. Another lady dog. This would be fun to do as lady and then Cheshire cat. Oh, that would be really cute. <laughs> Easter doggo. You tell him a millennial. Doggo. Get a tat. Oh, uh oh, getting in trouble. <laughs> this one's cute. This looks like my puppy. Looks like a little Shih Tzu. Black Widow. Be careful, kitty cat. I think we're coming up on the last page here. Oh, <laughs> oh no, colored boop. That's all I can think of. Eating the crayons. And that's the last one of that. So there we are. The best fur friends have fur. More than 60 illustrations, perforated pages. With endless possibilities, you can make each image your own in color. So, and then there's more options down here. Yes, that one was furry friends. Cuddly cats and dogs to, to color and display. It's my, I do like the pages that are perforated, but I don't often take them out of the book. So kind of useless for me, but... I know a lot of people who do, so. Naughty puppy, mischievous mutts to color and display. Um, again, more than 60 images. There's the back. I wish it gave you a little bit more of a sample on the back, but that's all right. We're gonna flip anyway. So here we go, naughty puppy. Oh, got the pearls. Can you tell I like animals? Almost all of these are animal themed, except for chubby cherubs, I believe. That's cute. Yep, all these books that I was like, meh, they're growing on me, friends. That's cute. There's the puppy with the pearls. Oh, he got all the jewelry, oh no. Oh, that one was in the last book. Interesting. Oh, ice cream, paw prints. Oh no. This was the cover, tortilla chips. Is that, oh no, it's a shoe. I <laughs> kind of thought it was underwear. They're looking at each other like, uh-oh. It's cute, they look like little schnauzers. Pug, got the toothpaste. Oh, there's the underwear. Nope, those are shoes too. These polka dots make me think of underwear, I don't know why. I know there's a picture with a dog with underwear on its head, that's probably why. Cat food, uh-oh, toolbox. Oh no. These are funny. There's the underwear. The sheets, oh gosh. Mischievous doggos. <laughs> he looks angry. Destroyed the hat. Oh, peanut butter ice cream or yogurt or, or just peanut butter, got into the peanut butter. Uh-oh. Destroying the toy. This one's cute. Got into the garden. <laughs> There's the one that I was thinking of. I like this. It's cute with the bra. And that one's not too badly zen doodled either because I would just color her one color. 
maybe like these parts I would do a different color but all these curls I wouldn't color individually <coughs> excuse me coffee oh no that's not good oh broke off the leash running through the dog park running free <laughs> bugs oh that's cute strawberries can dogs have strawberries I think they can I think they can have no, they can have blueberries too. There's something they can't. Grapes, they can't have grapes. Oh, popcorn. Look at the tubby belly, how cute. Uh oh, this one's having a cocktail. <laughs> That's not good. Not good for them at all. <laughs> I don't know if he's being unpatriotic or what there. Oh gosh. Some of these really make me cringe. This one's funny. Oh, french fries. This would be my dog getting in the food. We call him the food monger. Oh no, tearing up the book. That's not naughty. That's cute. Oh no. Oh no. Not good. Courts. Looking up more wine. <laughs> Puppy food. I have, I've seen dogs do that. That is funny. Here's the one that was in that, one of the front pages, the boot. What's that? Oh, it's a broom. Tore up the broom. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've seen squirrels do this. Sip on the drink. Oh no, is that a cupcake? Yeah, took a chunk out of the candle even. Hiding in the garden, that one's cute, that'd be fun. In the crib. He's just trying to say hello to his neighbors. <laughs> Baseball pup. Suntan lotion, beach doggo, stole the glasses. <laughs> That one's cute. I like that. <clears throat> Hope to go to the beach sometime soon. Oh no, donuts. I hope none of them are chocolate. Maybe that one. He didn't eat that one. That one could be chocolate. Uh, uh, is that a piano? Yike. These are naughty puppies. Oh my gosh, there's this... um page on Instagram if you like dogs, small dogs. Um, it's called Jersey Shih Tzu's and they just got baby chicks and one of the dogs is so obsessed with the chickens. It is so, so cute. She just, she's like, they're my babies. It's so cute. Here's the other underwear one that I was thinking of. Uh oh, that should be a cat bringing down the Christmas tree. <laughs> but I guess the book is called Naughty Puppy. Yeah, these are, these are very cute. They are not cute. <gasps> oh no, that's not good. Poor baby. Not too close to the cactus. Oh no, brought down the lamp. See, I feel like that would be us if we had a dog. Cherries, that's cute. Looks like a little chihuahua. Color that like my friend's chihuahua. Digging a hole in the garden. Chewing up cards, oh gosh. No, in the trash. Why do dogs like sticky things? I don't understand that. Why do you want to roll in trash? Or another animal's poop for that matter. I don't get it. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know why I like that one so much, but I do. Oh, licking up the ice cream. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, that was cute. Naughty puppy. There's the back again. Right, we're gonna save this one for last. Bring this one over. So next we have Magical Mermaid Kitties, and this did come with these pencils. So I wanna do either a color and chat or just like a demo video and try out these pencils in this book and see how they work. Um, that might not be for a little while, but that is in the works. It's kind of coming out of there. There we go. So 
So here we go. Mermaid kitties. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this one, but it is super duper cute. I really do like it. I like mermaids and the cats are just adorable. Totem cat. King Triton. Queen. <laughs> That's cool. They, do they all have belly buttons like that? No, that one has a regular one. Maybe it's a mer kitty rite of passage to get a belly button tattoo. I don't know. Oh, she's fishing. That's funny. I love this. I knit too, and this is a knitting cat with the help of an octopus. I do really like this book. Whale. She's a magician cat. I feel like these all tell stories of some sort. Oh no. Oh, this is pretty. I love that seahorse. Some kind of queen or princess. These are almost like the dolphins and whales and stuff are pets. It's almost like this is a leash. <laughs> Sleepy kitties. Soft kitty walking. <laughs> You guys know where that's from, Big Bang Theory? Do any of you guys watch that show? I love that show. Oh no, sushi, that's cute. Oh, that sounds good, sushi sounds good right now. Angel Mercat with flying fish, that's cute. Yeah, I really wasn't sure about this book and then I got into it and I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh, my neck hurts. Been sitting here for far too long, but it's okay. I shall recover. Is that a fork? <laughs> Chubby kitty. Norwal. Cra going crabbing. <laughs> I like how they all ha kind of have a border too. And again, this is just the same paper throughout all of them. This looks like a fairy mercat. I guess she is. She's like a... Um, like the blue fairy or something from Pinocchio or Glinda the Good Witch, I don't know. Oh, cute. And the seashell bed. Oh, she's lounging on the beach. Can Mercat survive on the beach? Does anybody know? <laughs> Again, these are perforated as well. She's got some seashells. That's one of my favorite things to do at the beach. Love collecting shells. I have so many now. Now that I live like an hour from the beach, <laughs> be easier. Goldfish. Aw, baby merkitty with baby dolphins. How adorable is that? This would be fun to do in different colors too. She looks surprised like she's caught up. Oh, did she get stung? Oh no. She looks like she's got caught up in the current there. Permaids sniffing style. That's adorable. I just love the stories they tell. This is like quintessential Deborah Muller. Just kind of strange and like super cute. I love the seahorses, they're so pretty. No, oh, look at a baby mercat and a baby dolphin. Yeah, these would be fun to do with um, <laughs> more mice. Uh, pencils or markers, again, single sided, so you could use whatever you would like. Again, these books were not very expensive at all. I love this one. Gangster Cat. Just the pinstripes, it's so cool. I think there's a dancer one in here too. Don't remember. Sea Turtle. This one's a little bit busy. Her cat all natural in water. That's like a sassy shot there. This one too. Seagull. Ugh, I hate seagulls. Sky rats. <laughs> Hippie mercat. Oh, she's on a little swing, kelp swing. <laughs> Shop. Cute. Spoiled mercat, maybe? Uh oh. 
tiki bar. That's adorable. And I like how different they all look, too. And Deborah's thing is the, the chubbiness of them, which is super cute. I love this, too. 20s. Flapper. Yeah, the variety in this particular book is great. This cracks me up. It's so random. Disco cat. Danger. Uh oh, don't poke the. I almost said don't poke the bear, don't poke the octopus. Marilyn Monroe cat, I love that too. I like the period images. There she is, there's the ballerina kitty. I absolutely adore this. I love this. This would be so pretty. And like pastel y or metallic colors. I'm not sure what I would do that in. Is this Madonna? <laughs> Looks like Madonna. Sorry, friends, my eye itches. Everything's itchy. Oh my. Cinco de Mayo, or not Cinco de Mayo. Um, oh my gosh, Dia de Muertos, that one. Cat, Day of the Dead Kitty, Sugar Skull. Yeah, I don't know what it is about today, but the pollen count must be high or something. I feel allergies coming on. <laughs> there, we can see the octopus's face this time. Cute. They look like they're taking a selfie. Now, these are just adorable images. I love them. But apparently, mercats are pretty popular. Like, it seems to be a thing now. I'll have to go back and look at when this one came out, but I saw them in, there was one in one of the books we flipped through in the first part, too. So I don't know if they're a huge part of mythology or not, or if people just like the idea of, hey, we have more people, why not more, more cats? But why not more dogs? This one's cool, too, Mona Lisa. I love that. And that's the end. So again... Um, more than 60 images. Oh, I was like, what is on the other side? But it's the pencils. And then this, this one did come with the pencils. So I think it was a little bit more expensive. Might have been 6 or $7. But again, on Amazon, these books are upwards of 13 to 15 What do we have next here? Um, let's do unicorns and then we'll do more dogs. So next we have rainbow unicorns. Flip it over again, more than 60 images, I'm sure. Did this one, oh no, there it does, there it is. Featuring more than 60 pieces of original hand-drawn art. Um, this was the first book I actually put in my cart. Again, ignore that. Um, because for some reason, unicorns have really grown on me since, the la in the last few months with coloring. But I wasn't a big fan of those bearded ones in that other mythology book. But these are cute. How many of you guys like unicorns? Raise your hand. <laughs> wow, this video is going much faster than I thought it would. Because there's just so many books. Well, I mean, we've still got three more to go through. After this. Excuse the pause, I had to swallow. I really like these. I just, I love coloring hair, and this is like, I mean, it's a mane, but same thing. So they're all very cute. And again, they have the borders on the outside, whether it's just a line or part of the image. Which she does in most of her books. That's pretty. She's very thoughtful of the colorists when she designs her coloring pages, which is great. Oh, that one's really pretty. Look at the hair. I thought that was hair too, but it's her horn. Down by the water. Horse butt. <laughs> There's something on that page. I'm not, sorry, put my head in the way. I'm not sure what that is. Something must have gotten caught. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I love that. 
this is one that I could see myself coloring every image. It would take a long time, but maybe one day. I guess it's going faster because I'm not talking as much either. <laughs> but again, it's all the same paper. They are all perforated. Cute. This is very much um, what I'm used to from Deborah Muller's style. Not so much the mandalas, but um, once we come to another page, this is cute. She's having the time of her life with it. Of course it won't come up for a while now, watch. It's cute. This reminds me of like My Little Pony or something. The rainbow on her butt. Um, like these swirls are the little dots. It's very Deborah Muller. She puts them in the background of a lot of her books. That's almost like a paisley. Oh, that's pretty flower wreath around there. Oh, she's in a cupcake suite. <laughs> that's cute. I like that a lot. Y'all, bringing flowers. Romantic unicorns. Again, you can see the image behind it. Um, through this page, so just make sure, even with pencils, I would say, just put a page behind. That one's cool. Night unicorn. I guess this is just background. Almost looks like it would be attached. I like that a lot. Just sleeping on the moon. Oh well, that's that's a busy picture. That would take some time, but I do like that actually, because it's all flowers. So I definitely do that in marker. <laughs> Carousel unicorn. That's pretty. Again, more main to color. The more the better for me. I really like to do hair and this kind of stuff in pencil, but doing it in marker is growing on me as well. I've seen some really cool images lately. Sure. Oh, it's a beach, I guess. With all the seashells. That's pretty. That's like the epitome of a unicorn page. <laughs> Get her horn as flowers. Aw. That'd be fun for Mother's Day. More little ponies. Cute. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice. Oh, I guess it's ivy, but it it's very giving me fall vibes here. That's pretty. I really like that one. And that's the end. I'm not sure exactly what happened here on the back of this book, um, but it must have happened in transit or when I pulled it out. I don't know, but I'm missing a piece here, but that doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't cut off the words. It, it, I didn't even notice it until um, the other day, and like I didn't even notice it today until I flipped the book over, but again, it's uh, this page is cut, which is sad. So I, heck, I could have done it when I opened the book, I, uh, the package, I'm not sure, but that would be fixable. You could definitely, um, color it and then like put some fix it over something over that. So yeah, there's that one. I think that's the only one that came damaged. Oops. Do dogs on vacation next. 
This one I really like. <laughs> Look at that. How can you not like a dog on a motorbike? So cute. He's got all of his stuff. Ready for the, the beach, golfing, playing music. He's ready for everything. Look at this image. How freaking cute. I just, this is one of my favorites too. This, the mer kitties, the unicorns. They're my three favorites so far. Well, and the next two that I have, but Old Faithful, there's a bear. This is the stuff that I'm talking about, like the dots here and on the bear. It's very Deborah Muller. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Looks like a selfie again. I love that. Oh, later hosen on the dachshund, visiting his roots. How cute. I don't remember looking at all these. Oh. A Hawaii dog. This is the one on the cover. Cafe Vino. How posh. Hot air balloon. I've always wanted to go in a hot air balloon, but it also scares the living daylights out of me, so I'm not really sure. Now this looks like the life, right? If you guys are campers, I'm sure this is the life for you. Hot dogs on the grill, drink in your hand. I don't really camp, but on the beach, yes. Oh, this is cool. Must be in um, Thailand, maybe. This is the one, he's ready to go. He's off to the airport. Crab trap, <laughs> tennis racket, he's got everything. Ski hat, oh, I guess that's a golf club clover, but cover, golf club cover, that's hard to say. I wish this was a poodle. Off to hike. Looks, reminds me of Colorado for some reason. Don't really know why, but. Oh. Puppies in the basket. They're like, Mom, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. My friend would die. We called her dog the Taco Bell dog because he was a chihuahua and he just, he looked like that dog. If you guys remember those commercials. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Little Scotty playing golf. Cute. Yeah, this is by far. Oh, it's hard to choose, but I really like this one. Coffee beans. Having a sip of coffee. That's what I need right now, coffee. If I got to get through all this editing. I think I'm going to make myself a cup after I finish this. Maybe do some coloring and while the videos are downloading and then edit them. That sounds like a plan. Oh, a beach puppy. There's a dolphin. That's cool. Yeah, she's got a ton of these books out, guys. So if you don't see them on Book um, Outlet, check Amazon to just put in um, Zen Doodle Deborah Muller and a bunch of these will come up. Again, they're more expensive, but um, there will be ones that aren't on Book Outlet that are on Amazon. This is cute. There's the poodle with the French bakery. Yeah, I just, I really, really love, 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 love this book. I could probably color every single one of these as well. Again, it would take forever. Can you imagine? That's already 120 pages between this and the um, Rainbow Unicorns book. Very, very cute. Oh, that's cool. That's China, maybe? Is that the Great Wall? Just seeing the flags. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh no, a crocodile. She looks like she's on a safari. Oh. Old English sheep dog. That's what it looks like to me, at least, in the English countryside. Flying a kite. These all look like great vacations. I know we've all been on like a three month vacation, but it's different when you're stuck inside your house. You can actually go out and do things. Italian pepper. Gondola. <laughs> Fishing dog. Kind of looks like a Doberman, huh? Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this with the peace signs and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm really into like the 70s colors right now. I don't know why. But um, uh, Hannah Lynn is releasing a decades book soon that I'm really excited about. And uh, 
So that, Deborah Muller's new book, and I've ordered Hannah Carlson's new book already like a month or so ago. But I'm excited for those. Sorry, I should be flipping as I talk. I just get a little stuck sometimes. That's cute. But yeah, I'm excited for Hannah's Decades book. Um, as a Patreon, we got a sneak peek of um, one of her pages, so I need to print that out and color it. It's the 70s page. I'm not sure if Deborah Muller has a Patreon. I'll have to check that out. Karaoke. This is cute on the dock. Is this the moon comes up or goes down, not sure. Go team. Oh, he looks so sad. Bourbon Street. Oh my gosh. I love that. That is cute. That sums up New Orleans. I, I'm dying to go there. Maybe not for Mardi Gras, but at some point. Lifeguard doggos. Or swimming puppies. Lifeguard on duty. Never mind. I thought they were all lifeguards. Sledding. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. They've all got cell phones. That's cute. Well, not all of them, but... Looks like they're taking pictures in a lot of these photos, or images. Another camping photo for you guys. Can't you campers? Photo, why do I keep saying that? Image, like the owl. These are adorable. Taking more time on this one because they're so cute and I haven't seen them all. Look at the llama. Must be in Peru. One of my friends, her family is from Peru, so. We send her all of the llama things. Dolphins. Space Needle, rainy Seattle, sounds about right. Just looks like maybe Alaska. The totem pole. Oh, that's pretty. India, or maybe that's Thailand too. But this is Australia, yep, Outback, Australia. And the koalas, they're cute. She has so many books. She has a monkey's book on, or there's one on Book Outlet right now. There's a couple that I don't have, but I'm not a big monkey person, so. I've got enough of them in the Baby Animals books from Jeanette Wommer Wommel. That's cute, I love that. Well, they're in a hot tub, that's adorable. There's the one. The motorbike. Oh, I love this too. I love all of them, but this is super cute. Meditation. My hair's itching me. Oh, safari. Yeah, this this book. I could for sure do all of these pages. And an amusement park. Of course, that has a special place in my heart. Canoe. Canoeing. Or... Uh, kayaking maybe? But why are they kayaking in the ocean? That's definitely a porpoise of some sort. Maybe that's a merkitty. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cute. Riding a donkey. Into the sunset. <laughs> and scuba diving. Sweet. Look at my mom. That turtle looks so bored. That's funny. Well, that image is just super adorable. Super adorable, super adorable. <laughs> oh, I love that one. And now, dun, 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 llamas. We were just talking about this. Um, I was thinking about sending this book to Angie, but I really loved these images as well. So, oh, this is a new one. This just came out in 2020. I'm surprised. I just glanced, glimpsed it on the copyright page here. Yeah, this is new. Wow. I love this, too. They're just so adorable. So I'm going to have to color some, and I'll probably give some to her to color as well. <laughs> He's jumping for joy. They're cute. I like the little tassels. Cacti. This one makes me think of a dog. 
They have kind of the personality of dogs in this book. But it's cute, so I don't mind. <laughs> Very at peace. That's adorable, too. <clears throat> Again, same paper, perforated. I'm sure it's more than 60 images. I didn't look, but I'm sure that it is. They're the same, they're all the same thickness. Now I really want to color one of these guys. I don't know when I'm gonna find the time. I have to I have I think still have four whips going. The one is gonna the my fairy miracles whip is gonna be a long-term thing. But um the page that I worked on in my color and chat earlier this week needs to be done it heck it might be done by the time you see this video but um at the time of filming it is not finished i have my hannah lynn page that i need to finish which my goal is to finish it this week and then i have my fairies from uh jade summer to finish as well but i want to do some of that with you guys in the color and chat next week and i'm sure i'll start a couple more pages or at least one more um, this week oh I love this this is my favorite one obviously dance she's just so cute with her little tutu and I just I love this design on there too and of course the disco ball so. <laughs> cactuses be careful little llama I guess their coat would be thick enough that they might not get actually poked by the cactus this is cute all the fruit you. Jumping for joy again. He's so like, I don't know. I wish you could see my face right now. Just very zen jumping. Aw, baby llama. Kitty and the llama. Oh, she's trying to get the tassels. That's adorable. Yeah, I really like this one too. Super cute. Might take this one. Um, we're planning a trip to Disneyland, and my friend Angie that I was telling you about with the Peru and llamas. We have to take this book, and when we're on the plane, we can um, color. Just take some pencils. She's an artist. Maybe I don't want to color with her. <laughs> She's an animator. Well, aspiring. She went to school for animation. Very, very cute. To camp. This is cute. Oh, fluff balls. Oh my gosh. Like the old Hollywood llama. That's what it reminds me of. So cute. Oh, I like that too. Pretty. No, magician. With her ears down like that, she looks like a puppy. She or he. Sorry, I don't mean to gender the llamas. I don't know their life. <laughs> Party llama. Ooh, that's that's busy. That's a lot of flowers. I like flowers, but I do get exhausted of them for every once in a while. Oh, angel llama. Cold llama. <laughs> Princess llama. That's cute. Lots of llama faces. That's, talk about Zen Doodle patterns like that. Oh, cute. Oh, she's got tea or coffee. I don't know. Looks like a tea. A tea loving llama. And the Lola cannot speak today. Another princess llama. Oh, I love this too. Splashing in the rain. Mm, on a cake. <laughs> That's cute. Yes, friends. We're best friends. And the Christmas one. I like that. That's fun. I guess people are probably doing Christmas in July next month. Um, I mentioned in my color and chat that Bibliophile Colorist 
and I are going to do a, well, are hoping to do a um, summer style color along. So some of these images would be really fun for that. Very, very cool. So that is llamas. Again, 60 original drawings tucked inside. Fun llamas frolicking on every page. That's cute. So, yeah, lots of possibilities with this book because you don't have, with these books, I mean, with Zen Doodle, I feel like I have more freedom with them that I don't have to color them realistically. Um, I'm not sure why, but you can do whatever you would like in your coloring books. And then finally, we have the last one by Deborah Muller, and this is Stained Glass, a Dazzling Art to Color and Display, illustrated by Deborah Muller. Um, this is a color by number. And that's why I picked it up. And this is the one that kind of started it all, because once I added this one, I just added the rest of them. <laughs> um, but again, more than 60 unique illustrations. Um, fun and easy coding. This, these are also perforated. And relax and unwind as you make these pages sparkle. So these are very, I love, love, love these images in here. They are very, very pretty. And in the front, you kind of have like a code. Um, and then there's also one in the back, which you will see. But yeah, you could color this if you'd like as well. Just remember to put um, pages behind these guys. This one would be a lot harder. Those numbers are almost illegible. But um, yeah, the numbers aren't too... Let's zoom you in so you guys can see the numbers. They aren't too, too small. Um, they're fairly light. And so that's nice when you color over in uh, darker colors. You don't see them. Um, but that doesn't bother me too much. Um, but they are fairly light. This line art is nice and thick, so you can use your um, alcohol markers without any problem. Whoops, sorry, I zoomed you guys out way too far. I think that should be good. Uh, maybe a little more. There we go. Um, I think all of these, well, most of them have this border. Again, it is um, Zen Doodle paper, and here's the one that I finished. Finished this last month at the very end of the month. Um, but you can see there are splotches and that is from the paper just sucking in this marker, these markers. Um, I used my Cali Arts on this and it just, it didn't eat them up because it didn't like mess up the tips or anything, but it just sucked the marker in. So that's just something to keep in mind if your markers aren't super juicy. Um, you might want to try to find juicier markers or use pencil. So, but these images are very, very pretty. And they are all color by number. I had no idea she did any kind of color by number, so I was so excited when I saw this. And there's one more, it's called Spring Awakening, that is color by number by Deborah Muller. So I'm on the hunt for that book. <laughs> again, I checked Book de uh, there we go again, Book Depository, Book Outlet, um, about once a week to see what they've got. This looks like a mayfly. I know it's not, but it looks like one. I think it's supposed to be a dragonfly or something, but mayflies are gross. <laughs> I don't want to color them. Let's see, make sure they're not green. Um, that's the other thing in this book. The color code is not on the pages. It is in the back, which you will see. I hear people outside. Sorry, that scared me. I thought they were at the door. But no, they're just right outside the window. Must be talking to my downstairs neighbor. Koi fish. I like this. This kind of reminds me of a cherry blossom tree. There's a hummingbird. But I love the stained glass style. This is the one on the cover. Um, oh, I love this too with the swan. So I'm not really sure um, if the other one is stained glass or not. I can't remember. But I like the borders here too. And again, the thick line art is super nice for your alcohol markers. You don't have to worry too much about the bleed over, especially on this paper because it's so thirsty. Frog. The ones towards the back are my favorite. This is a lot of like flowers and stuff, and then the ones towards the back, I believe, get more um, like different kinds of nature. Dragonflies. There's a hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. They're so cute. 
these. Lighthouse. <laughs> the crab. This one I feel like is gonna be really pretty. Call. Tiger maybe? Lion? Not sure. This one's kinda hard to tell what it is. This one might have to be colored. It looks like a it just looks like a landscape scene, but I'm not really sure. And without having the colors I can't even guess. So like a cockatiel of some sort. Mr. Giraffe. He looks grumpy though. <laughs> yeah, these books are really, really fun. Ducks. Dragon. See, we're getting more variety. I really like this. I feel like this is going to be like a birch tree. The little birds. They're all really pretty. This one I like a lot. So lots of flowers, lots of um, nature. Peacock. <laughs> There's another one for seahorses that are so pretty. Swordfish. Whale. This one I like a lot too, the wolf howling at the moon. Elephant. That's cool. That'll be cool. This one's really pretty. <laughs> Froggies. Cute. We had a little frog friend here the other day. He was so cute. Just sitting on the windowsill. Love this. Love penguins. Birds. <clears throat> Lots of birds. Um, octopus. The moose I really like. I really like all of them. I'm, I'm very excited to do more in this. I might keep this one out to the side because these work up pretty quick. What is that? Is that a pineapple? Looks like one. This one's pretty. Probably won't go in order. I'll probably skip around in this book. That's cool. That's going to be really neat. This is the one. This is the one that I just think is so stunning. And that's it. Color by number C. Oh, there's a couple. I'm going to have to look into these. Um, Spring Awakening is the other one by Deborah Muller for sure. Um, I don't know if these guys are too. We have sea life and playful pets, so that would be fun. Oh, I'm gonna have to look into those. I am gonna keep those out. And then other books in the Zindigal series. So here we are at the back. Um, number Your Way to Stunning Art. Uh, just tells you, I think, a little bit about color by number. Here are the rest of the images, which I don't wanna look at too hard. And then here are your colors. So there are 36 colors that you can use. Um, and there are a lot of options. So um, I like using my alcohol markers. So between my Cali Arts and my Spree markers and my few Touch New that I have left, um, I feel like I could probably match all colors, especially if you have a 100 set, um, you would be good to go. I haven't tried my water base markers in here. I'll have to try my super tips and see how they react to this paper. That's, um, I might do that. I really might do that. And then if I do do that, you will see that in the end of the month pages um, video. So there we are, guys. We got through like 11 books in, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books? Yeah, eight books um, in just over an hour. That's not too bad. Again, I'm going to... Um, Put the timestamps below for you guys. Zoom out, zoom you out, all the way. Um, and uh, you guys can skip through, you can fast forward the video, whatever you need to do. I know I'm saying this at the end, but um, I think I did say it at the beginning as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy these haul videos. Um, they seem to do pretty well. So just give me whatever feedback you'd like down below. Um, can't wait to talk to you guys soon. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.